Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a solid granny square like this one with no color changes. So this is just all the same yarn. I'm using a worsted weight yarn. You can use lots of different types of yarn for this project. That's not uh, overly important. So we're going to start with the slip knot, which is just wrap the yarn around your fingers. Pull this up and leave a loop. And then you can pull on the free end to tighten that down. And I'm using an eye hook, uh, but you would use whatever hook is recommended on the package of yarn that you are using. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is chain four. One. Two. Three. Four. And then you are going to insert the hook in that first chain. We're going to slip stitch, which just means yarn over your hook and pull that through and then pull that same loop through the loop that was on your hook. So now we've created a little bit of a circle and we're going to be placing all of our stitches inside this circle here. So the first thing we need to do is chain three, one, two, three, and then we need to double crochet, two double crochet inside the circle. Double crochet is yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. There's three loops on your hook, yarn over, two loops, yarn over, two loops, and then again, another double crochet inserting the hook in that center, two and two. So this is the first cluster. So that chain three counts as a double crochet. And you can see here, we're gonna do one, two, three, four of these double crochet clusters, and then we'll continue to radiate that out. So in between those two clusters, I'm gonna do a chain two a lot of people like to do a chain three. Either one is totally fine. I'm going to do chain two. So that's one, two. So this is coming off the top of that last double crochet. And then we are going to double crochet again in the circle. So we're going to do another three double crochet cluster in this center. And so each of these clusters will be connected by a chain two strand there. Okay, so we've completed the next one, chain two, one, two. Now cluster number three. Chain two. And our final one three double crochets. Okay, so we still need to do a chain two in order to connect it to that first chain three, which is here, which does count as that double crochet. And then we will slip stitch it into the top chain. So we're gonna grab these two strands here. So there's the two strands. There's one still on the back side. And we're going to yarn over, pull that through, and then pull that loop through the one that was on the hook. That's a slip stitch. So now we've got the basic part of a granny square. And this is where normally you would break off your color and add a new color right here in one of the chain two spaces. It doesn't matter which one, but we're not breaking off our color. And so there's two different ways to do this. I'll show you my favorite way, which is right where we are. We're going to chain three, which is one, two, three. 
And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna double crochet back behind that stitch in this chain two space. So it kind of seems weird at first, but you'll be surprised it actually looks good. So we're gonna yarn over back in this corner, double crochet, and it just sort of, see, it just scooched that chain three right over there. We won't even notice that there's anything going backwards. Okay, so then we're gonna do one cluster here. Then no chain, we're gonna just go ahead and go do our next three double crochet cluster in this chain two space. So three of those. All right, and we're in the corner, so we need to do our chain two. One, two, and then we need to do another three double crochet cluster in this corner. So that's how it's looking, same thing. Do three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in this corner. Same with this corner, and then I'll meet you here to show you how to finish up this corner. So repeat what we just did here for these other spots. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna go ahead and finish out this three double crochet cluster. No chain one or anything. We're just gonna go right into that double crochet. We need three of them. Okay, and then we need to do chain two, just like kind of in that first round, slip stitch it to the top of this one. Okay, and I'm using one of those self-striping yarns, so my color is gonna turn pink here. Um, but now we're gonna do the exact same corner like we did before. One, two, three, and then two double crochets in this corner right behind here. And get that, that first three double crochet cluster from this corner. Now one of the other ways that I've seen to do it is that instead of doing it this way, you just kind of slip stitch over to this other corner. And the problem with that is that it creates one side of your granny square that's a little bit bulkier than the rest of it. So I could see that being a good method if you have a very fine, very thin yarn. But um, for the majority of yarns, I think that's not the best one. This is by far, I think, the best and my favorite method. So now we have a, a, a spot here that needs a cluster. So we're gonna do the exact same thing going all the way around, but this time we need to have a three double crochet cluster in these spaces in between our other clusters. But otherwise it's the same thing, no chains in between your clusters, and in the corners it's exactly the same where you have the three, chain two, and then the other three. So that's all that there is to it. I will finish up this round and then uh, kind of just go over everything one more time and give you a look at how it's looking. But that's all that it, there is to making a solid granny square. There we go, we'll do chain two and then we'll continue all the way around. All right, so here we are at the very end. I've done my two, we need to do the third. and chain two, slip stitch in that corner. So you can see here, this is a self changing color yarn. I did not change my colors on this. This is just how it works out. So this is a great way to make a simple granny square. You don't have all those tails to weave in. At the end, when you change all your colors, you have to weave in all those tails and that's quite tedious. So this is a really great way to get a similar look look without having to do all of that. You won't be as precise with your color changes, of course, because it will be more random just whenever, based on the yarn that you picked. So here is how this one looks. 
And there is the mint one that I made. So you basically make this as large as you like. You can attach them together. You can make it continuously large to make a full blanket. There's so many things you can do and ways that you can utilize this technique, but this is how you do a solid color granny square. Be sure to um, th give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are not already. And if this was helpful to you, if you would share this with a crochet friend, that would be awesome. I will have more details in the written instructions right here will be linked to my blog. And you can also watch my other granny square video, which I will link on here as well, which has the different color changes. So I'll show you how to do all of that. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.